Some of the common mistakes we see in doing a Brueger exercise is that posture is not addressed to begin with. Here, see how Dr. Walsh is facing forward. She doesn't have a correct upright posture. When she tries to do this exercise too, what we often see is people make one continuous motion. A Brueger exercise should be two separate motions. Notice too how she's looking down at her feet. That's gonna alter her posture and she's not gonna get the maximum uh, benefit out of this exercise. What she should be doing is standing nice and upright, belly tight, butt tight, shoulders down and back, chin tucked. Her elbows are nice and snug at her waist. She's going to first abduct those hands and then extend those elbows. And she's going to very slowly and controlled bring that, oh, those elbows back down and those hands back down. A common thing that we see is if people get those hands out and then those elbows out, they snap that band back real quick because the band's pulling back on them. That we don't want to see. You want to make that band come back nice and slow, very controlled as the elbows come back into the waist, and then very controlled as the hands come back in together.